this is Mo Green from Ronaki Media and today I'm gonna show you how to make a cool wallpaper like this yes uh, okay so before we start on Cinema 4D uh, you wanna get a nice cool background to put your text object or whatever on it so I've got this background of the streets of New York uh, we got this cool uh, yellow cap um, and this uh, flat surface where we can put our text or objects on it. Okay, so when you got your image or an image like this, this is you can find this one on Google. It's called New York Streets. It's free. Okay, so you want to go to Cinema 4D and you want to open up background and open up floor. It's really an easy uh, thing to do to make this. But this, uh, the end results uh, looking really advanced. So okay, let's start uh, with making a new material. So open up the materials, go to color, and go to texture. Then load image, and now we're gonna load our image. So I got this image, uh, Streets New York. I'm gonna click yes. Now we get the image and turn on specular. So now I got the image material. I'm gonna drag this to the background and I'm gonna uh, hold my hand on a command on the Mac and then drag it to the floor. Now we've got the same uh, image materials on floor and the background. Click on the floor, uh, right click, go to Cinema 4D tags and then you wanna click on the compositing tag. Uh, once on the compositing tag, you go to compositing background, click on that and now we are set to go. Uh, you go to render settings, change the output to whatever you like. I always go to film and video, 720 HD TV. Uh, this setting is good for YouTube, Facebook, whatever you use. It's the best setting. It's uh, HD. Okay, so now you want to go to effect. Click on global illumination and ambient occlusion. Click global illumination, go to irradiance cache and change the medium to low or else the rendering goes too slow. So okay, now we got this. You have to uh, align the surface with the surface on the image and this is our surface as you can see. So we're gonna make it like this, maybe, yeah, maybe like this. Yes, okay, this is looking good. Now we got this, and now we're gonna put the text or the object that we have here. In this case, I'm gonna use the text. Go to MoGraph, click on Mo Text. Uh, now you got a text. Uh, you wanna put it on the right position. I'm gonna change the font. Let's see what I got. Uh, okay. see okay I got this font and I'm just gonna type tutorial you can type whatever you like so I got this tutorial it's a little bit big and yes I want it here like that and you want to go to depth and it's always to have a really nice depth uh, so we're gonna change the 20 to 40 so type 40 so you make this a little bit more bigger wider okay so now we got this so we want to make a material for our text double click on the material uh, go to color I'm gonna I always pick a color that's that's uh, it has something to do with the environment on the background in this case we have this yellow cap so I'm gonna make this tutorial also yellow this tutorial fold okay we got this yellow go to reflection click reflection, go to texture, click for now, change the brightness into 10 and the mix strength also into 10 okay so now we got a nice material drag the material into the text or whatever okay so now when we render we got this let's see okay the text is looking realistic but it's not yellow it's black it's not the color that we want and has not really much shadow uh, it's reflecting the background though 
so we're gonna change the color and the light okay so we'll go to light click on light and we're gonna make the first light this is the shadow light click on this image to put the shadow in the back this is our text this is the light it has to come here because if you look at the cap the shadows are reflecting our way a little bit because the sun is there so this has to have the same settings or else it uh, won't uh, really look uh, realistic so we have this light and this is the height of the light so we're gonna put it here somewhere here and we're gonna go to light go to shadow and click on shadow maps soft that uh, creates shadow for an object so if you look now we have this yes too much light maybe and the yellow it's it's a little bit yellow still not what we want so we're gonna make a new yellow uh, and maybe the shadow must come more this way I don't know uh, okay so we're gonna make new light new yellow I mean a new light okay so put the light here yes that's good and now let's see what we got it's looking yellow but we lost a little bit of our shadow right so this is not good uh, click on light on this light and drag it a little bit more back right more maybe we can put it here drag it up and let's see what we got now yes perfect okay so now we got our text uh, the light settings is good shadow is good if you want to make the shadows darker you just go to the light uh, and uh, the light with the shadow go to shadow and change the density let's say 150 and now it's looking a little bit darker yes so it's looking really good now uh, it's only one thing that we need we want to uh, make the reflection a little bit stronger so we can go to materials reflection and put the 10 change it into 20 so yeah we got this okay so the reflection is now a little bit better we got shadow everything's looking good and yeah it's looking realistic maybe we need a sun I don't know maybe you want a sun like the real sun this background image that is casting light on these buildings um, yeah we can make a sun Okay, so you want to make a new light, uh, drag it up, let's see, uh, put it, right, so I'm looking here and here, I want to put the light right here, and this is a sunlight, so it has to go back there, like that, now raise it up, like that. Okay, and this light is getting a lens. Go to glow lens, uh, glow inactive. Click on sun two, and now let's see what we got. We got shadows, uh, object, and a nice looking sun. You see that? It's looking really cool. Uh, it's adding something to it. Okay, so it's looking really cool. Now we wanna maybe we want some reflexes. So we go to no no here in the wrong place. Go to the sun, 
You can give them names if it's uh, too difficult for you. Go to the sun where we have the sun and go to reflexes and click reflexes star 2. I don't know. So let's see what we got now. So yeah, yeah, we got this. It's looking looking really cool. Uh, it has the same color. You can always change the color of this or the position. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this is how you put an object on an image on Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Adios.